Good morning. Whipping out the lucky Jordans, dude. It's kind of warm today. The blast off is going to be 52. Whenever I went to sleep, it said it was going to be 48. So it's already went up 4 degrees. Be good to go. A lot of boats already, dude. What you think, Rob? I'm glad I'm not a local favorite because there's a lot of spectators out and they're going to make it. They're going to be a little bit of an obstacle for the people that are catching them, people that are supposed to catch them. Hopefully, we'll have a couple following us tomorrow, but today we might have a little breathing room, I believe. All right, Island Over for the stage and dock. The Bassmaster Classic starts in 23 minutes. It seems like, I remember when they first announced Hartwell, it was like 18 months ago, and now it's happening in 23 minutes. So it just gets here so fast, the year's already flying by. I mean, I, I can't even believe practice is done. It is, time management is huge in this. We practiced a lot, we practiced hard, we've seen a lot of the lake. We've got a couple places we think we can catch a bass, and hopefully we'll find a couple new ones today. So I'm looking forward to it. So, I mean, huge opportunity, the biggest opportunity in bass fishing. So just gotta get out there and execute, and make it happen. Three o'clock. It's about to go down. A couple big ones a day. Be pretty good here. If you're gonna if you're gonna be leading today, you better be leading by some pounds. You don't want to be a couple ounces up. Oh, say can you say? Oh, say can you say?
Thank you, G. Appreciate it. like it to me. It's a 212, that's a good one. Bigger than I thought. 300,000. Oh, that's all? Yeah, that's it. Are I think. Are folks allowed to go out ahead of, ahead of tomorrow? Yeah, the tournament started today. Oh, so how do they know how many. Just everybody goes where they want to go? Yeah, everybody goes wherever. Good luck. Thank you. I think the total payout is a million. But. Okay. Where are you guys from? Alabama. Well, go Tide. That's right. First prize is 300, yeah. Can we, we still enter? <laughs> no, that one you had to qualify for. <laughs> what, what is something like the whole thing you got to do that car? This boat? Everything. Probably like 115,000 for everything. Yeah. You include rides and reels and stuff? That's a double.
Yes. I got a big one. Yes, dude. That's what you're talking about right there. Woo! I ain't got to weigh this one for you. What do you want to put them out? Three pounds. Okay. Yes, dude. Why'd you throw We're only allowed to keep five. five yep. Five biggest. Um, until three o'clock. We're in good shape now. Good. Ooh, dude. Good yes. Uh -oh. He looked like he might look cool. Not by a lot. Oh, big Johnny. Oh. There was a big one on my face. That and that's all. Yeah, he may. There's a Johnny one in there. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to cool a lot. That one will. Time a classic qualifier, an unbelievable record of 21 checks in 26 of Bassmaster Elite Series events. And the best thing about the Bassmaster Classic is everybody gets paid here this week. Came in second place in a Rookie of the Year race just two years ago. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Five fish here for Kyle Welcher, a former professional poker player now we gambles here on the bassmaster elite series and of course at the academy sports and outdoors bassmaster classic 18 pounds 13 ounces just like that a brand new academy daily leader wow 18-13 Going to weigh that for Berkeley Big Bass. 413 and not going to take over Berkeley Big Bass. But man, what a start here at the Bassmaster Classic. And all of a sudden, those two rough tournaments you had in the elites, they, they don't seem so close anymore, do they? Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, they don't exist at all. All I can think about is what happened today. You know, I actually had kind of a tough practice, which whenever you're at something like the Classic where there's so much stuff going on, practice is so far, you know, away from the actual tournament. It's kind of good not to have a good practice going into it because it allows you to stay open-minded and make some adjustments. So I got really fortunate today. I caught a couple big ones early, and that allowed me to free up and go fish around. So I hope we can keep building on it and learn a couple more things tomorrow because I want to be standing here with a shot on day three. I'd love to have you here all the way through to Sunday. 
Are you concerned about pressure with the, you know, you're leading the classic. There's going to be some people want to watch you. Well, there's a lot of people left to weigh in. And, you know, there, there is, there's a lot of pressure out there, not even just from fishing, but a lot of boats just driving around and all that type of stuff. But, you know, this lake is, is really big. And, you know, I'm not scared to run some new water. So if I feel like pressure is getting to something, I'll just go fish somewhere new. So, I mean, I'm, I, it is going to be a little bit of an obstacle, but I think hopefully we can still figure it out. Happy to have him as our leader, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring our next angler in. He comes from the post weigh in interview. Yep. You gonna ask the questions? Yes. What'd you catch him on? Where'd you catch him at? Jerk bait, swim bait, worm, jig. Caught him in the mouth, typically. Caught one in the belly. Didn't weigh that one though. Caught one out of three foot, one out of fifty. And probably one out of every depth in the middle. Can you duplicate tomorrow? I don't know if I could duplicate that much, but I feel like we got a chance. 